might have thought you'd get paid, you didn't get. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but your father had just died yeah. when you had to play queen. And then you lost another okay. beloved cousin, yes. right? So that process, when you are moving through that, this is a big budget movie, you just lost your father, you lose another loved one in the midst of it, you can't even go to the funeral because you have to push through. How do you push through those moments? The big, bigger picture is one thing, but when you are in it, you know, we've all been there in that day to day when you're caring for a sick loved one, or you lose someone, you get that call, you still have to go to work, you still have to do the deal, you still have to make the trip. What gets you through those moments? Especially when you have to channel yourself into somebody and show up and perform. Well, the first thing is, you know, thank God in this situation, my aunt called me and said he was, his health was declining. So I got to say goodbye. I was home for the holidays. I went and I got his, in his face and I made sure we connected and I made sure, cause he was kind of in and out of conscience and I made sure that he saw and knew that I was there saying I love him, kiss him on his forehead. So I had that moment so that when it came, you don't know when a person's gonna die, you can't plan it. So it's not like I told, I could go to production and say, hey, my cousin's gonna die on Tuesday, I need that day off, it just happened. And we're the throes of production. I can't leave. It's not like a government job. I can't call in sick. <laughs> it's really, it, it's unfortunate, but they don't, they let you off for if your mother or your father. Not even, I didn't even go to my grandfather's funeral. But you know, that's, my grandmother understood. I heard her hurt in her, but it, well, anyway. So I got to say goodbye to him. And, um, I said, well, this is happening for a reason. Everything happens for a reason because I'm a good person. I have a good heart. So God would keep me away from his, his celebration of going home mm -hmm. for no reason. And in an odd way, how art imitates life, Queenie died the day of his funeral was Queenie's funeral. And um, I remember being bothered that day. It was very heavy and I was so sad because I couldn't be there for the funeral. And I mean, I helped whatever way I could. I sent my aunt money, but money, ah, I wanted to be there. So I'm lying in a casket and they had to age my hands. So they put prosthetics on my hands and I'm laying there and I kept saying on the left hand, it kept lifting. And I was like, David Fincher, I don't know if you know him. He's very meticulous. He takes a thousand tapes, literally. And I was like, you gotta come fix this because if Fincher sees that, it's gonna be a problem. So they kept messing with my hand all day long. So finally the day is over, I rush home, I call my godmother, I'm like, how did the funeral go? And she thought that was great, it was, it was beautiful. She said, but Rick Amortis sat in his left hand. Wow. And I said, thank you God, because I was there. Wow. 